Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with my 24 tags of Christmas for 2019. Today's tags are going to be achieved by coloring the amaryllis just twice from Ellen Hudson. And I'm going to cut it in half as I have done on some other projects so that I can get two tags out of one coloring session. Now with an amaryllis, you can either make it just a solid red amaryllis, very common during the holiday season, or you can Google for all different kinds of color combinations. And I have done that before, done all different kinds of colorings of this, but the red one is the easiest. And for a tag like the one I'm going to make, you literally could just leave the tag, leave the amaryllis red and not add anything else to it. And I'm going to, however, add some shading to it. And I'm using those lines in the middle of each of the petals to add some dark color and then dark in the center, which I'm actually going to add black to in the next round of increasing of contrast. But I'm using a really dark red, this is the R89, to add some real strong contrast to it. And then a mid-tone, this is an R46 this time, to blend some of that out. And then I can go back in with my light red again and blend out some of that so that things are a little better blended. And you can stop at that. I always tell people like my, my coloring just goes way crazy, much farther than it has to go. But you can stop at this once you get all that stuff nicely blended and you'll be very happy with it regardless of going the extra mile like I tend to. Now I'm going to add some veins to the leaves. This is the going over the top level. And I'm starting by using the dark red marker first, the R89. And I'm doing that in the ones that I want to have more shading on them. And then when I get to using my mid-tone, I can put some of the veins in those lighter petals, the ones that I don't want to get too dark on, and add more to them. And then blend the dark ones that I've already got in there with the mid-tone color. And that's going to give me at least a couple different levels of some petals being really dark, some petals being more middle, and then some of them remaining a little bit on the light side. Because if you add the veins in the dark color on all of them, it'll just all get really flat. And then I decided I really wanted some contrast, so I put black in the centers. And it's not a project by me if it doesn't have any white pen details, so I added some white pen in the centers of the flowers. I have them already die cut out. I did that before I even did my coloring so that I could make sure that I did my die cutting properly first. Can't tell you how many times I've die cut something already colored and got it crooked. So then I was able to trim off just that outside edge and my flowers are popped up on a little dimensional adhesive. Throw in some ribbon and what I did was fold the ribbon in half and then make a loop that I can pull the ribbon through. That's kind of the standard way that I do my strings on all of my tags. Get those all finished and they are ready to roll. So if you would like to have a chance to win one of these, then leave a comment in the doobly-doo and a comment on my blog to increase your chances. And I will be doing a giveaway of 24 tags at the end of my 24 tags of Christmas. So stay tuned for finding out if you are the winner and watch more videos this week. I will see you guys again later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.